Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for now until the 15th of October. So this is being recorded on the 8th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This reading will not resonate with everybody that watches it, so just take what does and leave the rest. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. Strong. You guys are very, very strong during this time. Highly intuitive. You're headed in the right direction. You guys are like a uh, leader. You're in the lead. You're in the lead for sure. Um, you know something you know something so if your intuition is telling you something and you've been doubting it don't because you're you're right on track. If you if you got some thought going on up there and you're wondering if you're thinking clearly, you are. You are absolutely thinking clearly. I think right now you are definitely in thinking mode. You may be thinking about walking away or thinking about going back. This could go either way. But this is a release. This four of pentacles letting something go. So I wonder if you guys are charging forward in some new direction. Mm, there you are. There you are. So you're here. You're here. You're right in you you're you're calling the shots, okay? The power is in your hands. That's for damn sure. It's like you're you're the one that's in control in this situation, which is pretty evident, okay? Some sort of justice is about to be served in your your behalf, okay? That's what it looks like to me. And I think that you knew that this time was going to come. It may have to do with somebody from your past. It may just bring up some memories of the past, okay? Um, things may seem a little unbalanced at this time for some reason. Things may be moving too quickly. There's some, something is happening quickly, okay? Um, you know, it feels as though you have been really, really, really strong, okay? These are both cards of strength, so, and this one's mirroring you. It's like you, you have really... You've gained a lot of life experience through some situation. Something has really taught you something. A lot of wisdom here. You guys have gained some wisdom. And it looks like some sort of decision is being made. Perhaps with somebody that you have severed ties with in the past. Unfortunately, some sort of justice is about to be served with somebody that you have walked away from from the past by the looks of things. Probably you may have given up. You Maybe you have finally sat down and given up waiting for this person to come forward. Um, maybe you finally released them. And now they're coming back. It looks like somebody is coming back. Um, I hate to say those words. I, I really, really, really do. Maybe somebody is unable to let you go. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. Um, it's almost like you knew this time was going to come. You knew this was coming. When you were going to have the power. When the power was going to be back in your hands. 
you just waiting for it and now it's here the power is in your hands to make a decision in regards to bringing maybe it's time for you to bring somebody else down to their knees okay because i think the power is now in your hands maybe you maybe now is the time for you to take the lead here and it does look like you are going to take the lead um okay so yeah there's something there's something hasn't been closed yet there's something i think from the past that hasn't received the final closure and uh, this person could be coming back into your life perhaps they want one more chance with that nine of wands they're like you know we still got one more chance left here Maybe they're deciding that they want you and you're going to put your guard up and you'll probably be like, <laughs> what are you here for? What the hell? My, I'm scared. I mean, you're not scared. I see that. I mean, you're not scared, but you're like, you want to fight? Don't come near me. <laughs> Don't come near me. Yeah, things are going to, there's something is going to happen that's going to, that's going to cause a little bit of chaos in your life. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And this is like going backwards. Things being turned right upside down, right upside down. So I feel like there's, there's something from the past, whether I, which I tend to feel like it's a person that is, is probably, they could be rushing in to you know they want they want they want to come back you've released them you've released them they want to come back and it turns your turns your whole world right upside down okay and you're like oh my god ah yeah death i've 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 transitioned from this i've have released you have released. It's over. It's done. It's ended. I think something has ended on your part, but there's a person that is, it's Venus retrograde, you know? So somebody from your past is coming back because you have released. You have, you know, you've let them go. You're no longer holding on to them and they're not ready to give up that flight. I think that somebody is reluctant to let you go for some unknown reason. It already ended before, right? It's already been done for a while. And now now they they want to they want to come back and They don't, they don't want to be, it's like, this is, this is a competition. This is fighting. This is conflict. They don't want to be in it anymore. It's like, no, I don't, I don't want this conflict anymore. And I think that you're going to be reluctant. I think you are going to be very reluctant to get involved in this game because these are kind of both like games. They are. It's like I think that you were dealing with somebody who played a lot of games in the past. And that's why your guard is going to be so up. It's going to like, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? <laughs> this has left me feeling really discontent in the past. You may, you may decide, you know what, I can't even consider this offer. Or I feel like you are going to receive an offer that is going to really make you have to think about is this worth one more chance should I give this one more chance you there's there's going to be somebody that wants another chance with you that's what it looks like to me and I think you have two other options besides this person okay okay besides this person that's coming back you have two other options two other viable options and I feel as though you're really going to, your life is going to, think going to be turned right upside down because you may have thought that, you know, one of them, the newer options was going to be the one Then all of a sudden this past comes back because they haven't had the closure that they need and they want some sort of reconciliation. 
somebody is going to come to you with the truth. The truth is going to be revealed. Some sort of secret is going to be revealed from somebody that had a really, really big ego. And now they have found the strength to master their emotions and head in your direction. Because they see that you have released and that you have moved on and you have transitioned from, from them. And so they're coming in because it's the last straw with that nine of wands under there. It's like this is the last straw. It's the last chance. It's the last hope. I, if I don't go now, you know, the next is the is the actual, you know, completion. You know, there's no more. There's like one shot left. And that's what they're thinking. This is my last chance. It's my last chance to to reconcile. And I feel like they are probably taking action. You are dealing with somebody that is taking action to probably win your love, okay? Win your love back. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is has really is trying to change. You're dealing with somebody that is trying to um, shed their old ways. Um, they may come in asking for forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness. Uh, maybe they have been brought to their knees and finally they know, you know, that they were being dishonest or somebody was being dishonest. And I know the cross watchers will point the finger at you. That's normal, right? But anyway, there's that they, they weren't telling the truth because the, the truth is going to come out. Somebody has been dishonest about how they, what they wanted or whatever the case is. And it feels like that they're, they're receiving some sort of clarity. And I think that you knew all along but you were probably giving up hope that this person was actually ever going to step out of their ego and and make this communication. But it feels as though they've delayed this communication for quite some time. And because you have found your power and you have found your resources to look in another direction, I think that... They don't want to let this relationship go. They don't want to let it go for some reason. They want, they want stability and security with you. They want a new opportunity. They want to bring the stability back to the relationship. I think that somebody wants a new opportunity. They want, they want another chance with you. And I'm sorry, Gemini. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. But somebody is asking for another chance. And I think that this person had no follow through in the past. And they're probably coming with some sort of, you know, please forgive me. I Now I know. Blah, 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 blah. That kind of thing, you know. I, I, please forgive me. Yeah, somebody wants happiness with you. They do. Ten of cups. Somebody is looking. They're looking at as you being there, happily ever after. And this is. I think this has been released for quite some time already. It's ended quite some time ago. Um, Now, what is it now? It is October. I was going to say 10 months ago, January. So, yeah, it does. I think that something has end. Could be 10 months ago. Could be 10 anything. 10 days, 10 years. Could even be four. Because four came to mind as well. So, um, four years ago, four months ago. Anyway, I feel like something had, there's been no forward movement and all of a sudden somebody gets this epiphany that you're it. You're the one. Oh my goodness. And now they want this opportunity, this happiness, the stability that they once had with you. And they may have changed with that magician card, but either way, the decision is in your hands, Gemini. The decision is in your hands. It's you get to make the decision here. Oh, yeah. There's been a there's been a breakup of some sort, and now somebody wants to do the noble thing. <laughs> That's hard to believe, isn't it? Um, you could be dealing with. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio.
there is some, it could be any sign, by the way, there is somebody that is trying to do the honorable thing, you know, trying to do the right thing here. Somebody is finding their confidence and their courage to face their insecurities. I feel like there's this person in the past didn't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't put in effort. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't, you know, they refused to learn anything about this situation. They were self-centered and conceited. And now perhaps they have found themselves left out in the cold because who the hell wants to be around that anyway? <laughs> I mean, nobody, nobody, um, Anyway, it feels like you can expect the unexpected because it feels as though there is somebody that has found their strength and the courage to come and do the noble thing. And it is in regards to them, they've had some sort of awakening, some sort of epiphany that says, you know what? This is what I want. This is this is where I want to be. This is where my happiness is. This is this is where my stability is. And I realized that I didn't put in the effort. I realized that I didn't put in the work. I realized that I was wrong. I realized blah blah you know, the whatever they say. They're they're I think that somebody is probably going to ask for your forgiveness. But will you accept? What's the outcome here? We need an outcome. I know that the person that you're dealing with wants happiness with you. They want some sort of happiness. But you may release. You may release. You may be like, you know what? That was too much. That was just too much for me. You were cruel. You were downright cruel. And I think that and for you cross watchers, this is how Gemini is feeling, okay? The person, you know, whether you did were whether you were cruel or not, you can't feel the other person's feelings, okay? This is cruelty. Somebody is like, no, you were you were cruel, you didn't appreciate me, you caused me a lot of sleepless nights. You know, I've released that. I've I've transitioned. I'm not that same person anymore. And, but this per this is the rods of love. This is things happening really fast. This is communication coming in. Somebody does see that you have released. Now you're going to receive some sort of fast communication right now that they want you to choose them. <laughs> they do. You have two paths. And you may even have three. I think you have to choose. You have to choose. Do you, There's a choice here. You have to choose. Do you want this past person or do you want to continue on the forward path? I think you have... A choice between two or three people here. One of on the in, in this one from the past is unexpected. You didn't ever expect this to happen, and all of a sudden, this person is like knocking on your door, or texting you, and saying, "You know, I was wrong. What can I do to fix this?" <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, you may withdraw from this situation. You may be like, "I, I know what." I've already released this. Yeah, you may withdraw from the situation for of swords. You may this this died a long time ago. You took too long. You took too long. I would have died waiting. And I feel like you this may cause a little bit of confusion for you, but you have other options and you know it. And I feel like this is something you may have secretly been wishing for to have this power, you know. You may have been dreaming of this day and now this day is here and now it's, it is a gamble. Which one do you choose? It really, it's heads or tails. Which one is it going to land on? I think that you will have a, you have a confusing decision to make. Now we also have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Anyway, this person took, took too long. This person took too long. Anyway, um... You have to make a decision about, and it's a complex decision, which, which, one, which option do you want? This person left me out in the cold in the past. 
but there's a lot of fond memories, you know. Whatever that card is. I thought we maybe we didn't even have it. It's the Six of Cups. Yeah, we did. There's a lot of fond memories here. And at one time it was stable and secure. And there's but you left me in the cold. You were cruel. And now I've already started on a new journey. Now I already have a new beginning. One more. One more advice. Oh, jeez. Now here's another Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is like... I'm not interested. I'm not interested in what you have to offer. So I feel like if somebody comes back, I'm not sure that you would be interested. It's not stable. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's not love. Not the King of Cups, right? It's the King of Coins, reverse. It's not practical. It's just not practical. So I feel like you will probably, you will probably, you know... I don't know what you will do. I'm focused on my job right now. I'm focused on everything but love right now. I mean, that's what this card is in reverse. I'm focused on everything but love right now. Even though I have options. I know I have options. I don't dare to invest. This is unrealistic. It is unrealistic. So, I feel like you may reject this offer. You may be like, you know what? You've closed yourself off to me in the past. I don't believe you. Now I'm now I'm taking my power back and I'm shutting you down. Whew. Yeah, it's like, no, I don't want this opportunity. I don't want this opportunity. It's not practical. It's not stable. It's not secure. So I feel like somebody is offering you an opportunity for a reconciliation and it's something that you may have secretly been wishing for, but you know that it's not logical. You have to make a logical decision. You know that it's not practical, okay? You know that this person is closed off emotionally. They don't put in effort. They haven't put in effort in the past. And I think that there will be a rejection. I do. I do. But I think there will be an offer. I mean, and, but I don't see an acceptance of the offer. So whether you're offering them the offer or they're offering it to you, I don't see an acceptance. I don't see an acceptance of the offer here. I do not. I see a new beginning in a new direction. A de the, Okay. I see a new beginning in a new direction. Because you have options. You absolutely do have options. I think that you will get a visit from, what is it? If you think of that Scrooge movie, Christmas is past or whatever. You're going to get a visit from somebody from your past or a message that blows your mind because you didn't expect it to ever, 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 ever come. And you, it may be too late. Now, free will always plays a part. So let's get one more card. Is there a chance for a successful reconciliation here between these two people that whoever it is you know who it is okay you know who it is that come to mind when I'm doing this reading this person from the past that you loved okay that you really really loved and it broke your heart to break apart from okay you know who this person is is there a chance for the victory and success here well this card would say there is a chance but let's see uh, it doesn't look good. You you know, it doesn't. It looks like there, there really isn't no chance for this to get off the ground. I'm sorry. There isn't. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, of course. You're, it's, up, it's all in your hands, right? It is. The risk is in your hands. You have options. Let's see what this has to say. Gemini. You know what you need to do. Put it that way. Don't question yourself. You know what you need to do. You know the answer to this question. You have to have faith and trust and believe in yourself. Okay? Believe in your intuition. Believe in your inner guide. Believe what you hear. If you, if you think it can work... 
go for it. But this person didn't follow through with their love in the past. So keep that in mind. They sold you the Golden Gate Bridge that they didn't even own. So if they're that freaking good, I mean, have they changed? I mean, they could have. They could have. <sighs> Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit now. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. The Creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. This is not the time to passively wait for prosperity to fall into your lap. Life goes in cycles. There are times when fields lay fallow and there are also times of harvest. Right now you are moving toward, towards a harvest time to receive an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. However, you must first know that you deserve it. And you do. There are times in the journey when life is followed, but in the times of harvest, the sacred traveler shares the bounty and even volunteers to help others bring in their crops. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. For the more you truly give, the more you will receive. As you focus on gratitude for what you already have, your abundance will grow leaps and bounds. Yeah, I think you guys have went through some sort of transition. You have released somebody from long ago. It's like you're, they're not even on your mind. And all of a sudden, Venus retrograde is, is bringing them back into your life because perhaps they didn't get the closure. And you might just be the one to, to give it to them. So good luck. I'm sure you will make the right choice. I'm positive. 